Welcome to the video on no solutions to linear equations and I encourage you to pause the video and try this first problem from 2009, 20 March US QS on your own. So I'm assuming you've given it a shot. Maybe you got the answer, maybe you didn't. Let's see. In the given equation, k is a constant. If the equation has no solution, what is the value of k? So let's just remind ourselves, when are there no solutions to a linear equation? That's when you have an equation, you start to solve it, you do all your operations, you try to isolate x, and you end up with something like 3 equals to 5, or, or 4 equals to 6. Just two numbers that are not equal to each other, and, and this means that there are no solutions to the equation because no matter what x is, these two numbers can never equal each other. And so we're going to use this fact to solve this question. And this means that we just need to compare the coefficients of x. And remember, in this case, you can only compare the coefficients of x because the x terms are always going to cancel out and you're just going to, left with, to be left with two two constants that are not equal to each other. So always, in, all, in these questions, the x terms would always cancel out. And so to solve this, you just need to compare this, num this term to this term, and both of these have to be equal, because the x terms on the left-hand side and the right-hand side have to be equal. And so on the left-hand side, I have a 1 over 3x, when I expand this out. On the right-hand side, I have a kx. And for them to be equal, k has to be equal to a 1 over 3. And so that's my answer. Now let me scroll down to the next question. And this might be slightly more challenging. And I encourage you to try this one on your own first. So the equation 9x plus 5 is equal to ax plus b where a and b are constants has no solutions. Which of the following must be true? So before we start to think about these statements, let's just first see what information do we have from the fact that there are no solutions to this equation. So since there are no solutions, we can always compare the coefficients of x because they have to be equal. Because that's the only way that the x's would cancel out and you would have two numbers that are not equal to each other. So that's the first thing that we know, that both of these have to be equal. So since a 9x has to be equal to an 8x, ax, the a has to be equal to 9. And as it turns out, this is our first statement, so that will be true. Now for the next piece of information, we also know that this, the constant terms cannot be equal to each other because if they were equal to each other then we would have something like 0 equals to 0 or 5 equals to 5 in this case and in that case there would be infinite solutions so that cannot happen and so we know that that the constant terms on both sides are not equal to each other so on the right hand side I have 5 and on the left hand side I have I'm going to put a not equals to sign here in a times b because when I expand this out so 5 is not equal to an a times a b and since we know what an a what our a is already so a is a 9 I can just put this here and so 5 is not equal to a 9b and and I can just divide both sides by 9 in this unequality as well and so b now cannot be a 5 over 9 and this makes sense because if b was a 5 over 9 then when the 9 would multiply with the b it would become a plus 5 and so both of these constant terms would also be equal and this equation would then have infinite solutions and so this third statement is also true but for the second statement we, we don't have any information to prove this statement is true so this cannot be true I mean this might be true but we are looking for which of the following must be true. So given the information we have, which of the following has to be true? So our answer will be 1 and 3 only, 
which is D.